Texas, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Mahomes not wasted time. He'll throw. Right side. That's complete to Gronkowski. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid, too. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. On second down, here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In motion goes the tight end. Here's Mahomes to throw. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he will have the Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. They clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. He feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Done. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To throw, it's Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7 0 game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Takes it at the 7th. 
And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. I'm one, Following eight. the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, they'll run with Bettis. He takes this for three to the 29. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. On two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Burrow. They'll take this complete to the bus. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they get five there on third and two. Here we go. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Up the middle they run with Bettis. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Here we go, here we go. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now it's Burrow. And incomplete on the deep ball. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He's got the Hall of Famer, Harold Carmichael. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. On two, right? going to keep it on the sneak. But when you do call quarterback sneak, you don't mind if your quarterback's a little bit on the vertically challenged side, do you? Because he's just going to hide behind his big guys up front and be able to surge forward and pick up the first down. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Now Burrow. Throwing left side, he's got Burrow complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. They go play action with Burrow. On the move to his left. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes time we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next gen stats from this first half of action. On 
That's second and ten. Burrow. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But a Chargers player was able to fall on it, and they'll keep possession. Wow. Well, he's not free. A teammate comes in and scoops it up. It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Well, I can spin this negative ways. He just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play from the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. Here we go, here we go. Fourth down, here's Joe Burrow. Gives himself up, but not before he gets the conversion. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. Burrow's throw taken in by Green here. And out of bounds right around the 20. I'm wondering. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Here's Burrow. Wide open, Gronkowski. And the Chargers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Give up the middle to Bettis. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Jerome Bettis taking it in from four yards out. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he won't quite make it to the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Mahomes going to throw. Kelsey, left side. And they're going to get this up to midfield. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fields this way up at the 17. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Charger drive about to get going. 
It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't want to get close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But he just couldn't connect. And he will send him back to the draw. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And they'll go ahead and down this one right on the chalk of the 20-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Sanders on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a short kick taken at about the 16. Here we go. The Charger drive about to get going. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Minx, had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Here we go. Now Burrow on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Partner just a second earlier, and they might have had it because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. They come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. 11 MP, On third down, Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They give him four yards there, and it'll be second and six. Now Bettis. And this time, not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're going to the third down and six. Now it's Burrow. And he'll be brought down with a first down as 
the tackles made at the Chiefs 16. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. It's taken a while on this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good try. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. And that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. From the two now, second and goal. Bettis will score. Touchdown, Chargers. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Mahomes now to throw. Being chased out left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now Mahomes. He finds his man complete. It's done. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And they're looking at fourth down now in this tie ball game. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mahomes. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. We want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Mahomes to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's done. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Mahomes will throw. Finding room at midfield. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Here's Mahomes. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this is caught. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the lead score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. the kicks away fields this way up at the 17 and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line here we go the charger drive about to get going well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if they look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Here we go, here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. Now Burrow. And this is going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Go, 
Mahomes. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And control of the football is switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. The Charger drive about to get going. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets... Four quarters couldn't settle the winner, and now the Chargers going to get the first opportunity here at OT as the kick is away. Fields this way up at the 17. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, they fought hard to reach this point, Charles, and now what an opportunity. They've got the ball first, a chance to take this overtime win away from the hostile crowd. And you know as the quarterback steps into the huddle, the first thing he's telling his team is remember, we need six, not three. So we don't need a good drive. We need a great drive. And this is what they've been planning for. It's time to execute and take it downfield, even against all these odds. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll run with a Hall of Famer, Bettis. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. A carry now for Bettis. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 70 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. They've had some success here in overtime of this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, I'm make right. them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there available to him. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Flushed it, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. to go for it people think you might be a little bit on the nut side don't they but guess what if i did decide to go for it i'd call something deep <laughs> i'd throw a deep pass and hope that the defense didn't remember to just knock it down if they intercept it it's almost like a great punt it helps out your defense with field position Hello. 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, their defense, they did the important thing. They got the stop. They didn't allow a point, but now they're backed up here pretty far, Charles. Going to need a significant drive to try to get into position for the game-winning field goal. Yeah, partner, don't you think that defense is on the sidelines right now saying, don't come to us with your problems about where you're starting? We did the important part. We kept them off the board, kept us in the ball game. Find a way to maneuver it downfield, at least get in the field goal range and get us a win. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. Up the middle they go. Down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Second down now. It's done. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Done. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Darnell Dockett, the big tackle, in on the stop. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A good pick up there, a 22. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. All right, well, they didn't kick it on second down, now third and goal. You have to kick it here. Absolutely have to kick it, because if you get a bad snap, you fall on it, you got a chance to kick it again on fourth down. Let's say it gets blocked and it's behind the line of scrimmage. You fall on it, you get another chance at it. Give yourself that option. Give yourself that opening. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So it all rests now on the right foot of Jason Sanders. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good. And they have won it here in double overtime. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory, so this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you and I both know that is not true. Division rivals, you want to take care of business, not just at home, but against a team that you really don't like very much, too.